Thank you for watching my channel please subscribe and like. Now back to the news. Mariah Carey slashed her designer dress with a pair of bedazzled scissors while shooting the cover for her iconic 2005 album, The Emancipation of Mimi, photographer Marcus Klinko exclusively tells Page Six Style. As she grabbed her scissors, she told her stylist, make this show more leg, he says, recounting the alterations Carey, now 54, wanted to give her glimmering metallic threescore gown nearly two decades ago. She wanted to cut the dress and the stylist was very reluctant because he was probably petrified. You don't just cut designer dresses up, Klinko continues. He kind of didn't know what to do. That's when the singer took matters into her own hands, the celebrity Shutterbug, who has also shot the likes of Britney Spears, Beyoncé, Mary J. Blige, I Spice, Paris Hilton, and the late David Bowie, tells us. She just grabbed her scissors and cut a few more openings into that dress. And I say the rest is history because it became literally one of the most iconic music covers of all time, Klinko says. And they were not normal scissors, they were definitely Mariah, he elaborates, emphasizing that Carrie's crystallized cutting tools matched her sparkling energy, though her hasty moves to make the garment sexier, he says, reminded him of Johnny Depp's slice savvy in 1990 film character, Edward Scissorhands. Mariah Scissorhands I love that title because she was so good with it, too. She was, like, done in two seconds, Klinko says, amused. She knew exactly what she wanted. The artist remembers Kerry calling on him to helm the artwork for The Emancipation of Mimi, which became a triumph for the Grammy-winning superstar after a relative commercial lull in her robust discography, like it was yesterday. One evening I was actually having my dinner in my studio and I get a phone call from my rep and he said, Mariah Carey's on the other line and she wants to talk to you immediately, he says, noting that the request from the pop diva caught him by surprise. She told me she had a new album in the works, it was very important to her, he says. And she wanted to meet the next day and literally she came over to my studio within 24 hours. Shortly after Carey arrived at Klinko's New York City Atelier, they began sifting through his portfolio for inspiration. But when the celebrated songwriter saw his campaign for Wolford, the premium tights brand, she wanted to recreate it to A.T. She fell in love with, the, campaign, absolutely loved that shot, he says. And she said, I want exactly that. Klinko acknowledges that he wouldn't typically duplicate his work for a separate project, but was convinced by the thought of doing so with Carrie. It's something that I normally would not do, to redo my own photo, he says. But Mariah is so incredibly iconic that it just made a lot of sense because on the